Welcome back to another episode on the Smacker Channel. I'm your host Abdul and you made the right choice tuning in. Depending on when you're watching this, it's the Super Bowl weekend, Patriots versus the Hawks. I got my money on New England, but one thing I want to touch base on is the Migos want to perform at halftime. They started that petition, which isn't gonna change anything. I mean, let's be real. Did you really think America would glorify three black men with money after Donald Trump got elected? But on a side note, Quavo's in my top five. He definitely is. He's a catchy artist. He can hop on any song and actually make it better. He's probably a genius low key. But let's get rolling. The contact challenge. Nowadays, people don't communicate through talk and text as much as they did prior to the domination of social media. Adding somebody on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and so on is pretty much just like having their phone number. But what's the point of the contacts in our phone? Contact challenge time. Go through your list of contacts and message every single person except for work, professional business numbers but don't just message them hey what's up make it personal like hey Susie how you been doing yada yada last you know make it personal make it specific for that person this might be hard for some people since you haven't talked to some of your contacts in a long time but that's why this is a challenge make sure to put contact challenge at the end of the message so they know that if they don't reply you will be deleting their number. Give them one to two days to reply, three if you really like them. Don't be scared, go on and try the contact challenge right now. I'm trying something different this episode. This next segment is called, You Posted It. Pretty much, I'm scrolling down my Facebook timeline and making commentary on the things I see. Before you continue watching, viewer discretion is advised. Sensitive viewers, thank you for watching this far, but you should change the video because you might get offended. You might actually be in the video for friends on Facebook, to be honest. But nonetheless, you've been warned. Let's get to it. All right, let's get started. Let me log into Facebook. Keep in mind that none of this is personal. I already know that somebody's gonna get in their feelings after watching this, but you posted it. <laughs> First up, we got the homie Trishonda Greenwood. She got the love emoji indicating that she loves herself. I mean, if you don't, who else will? You got my respect, Greenwood. Hold up. Are you unzipping your pants? Is this what you meant by loving yourself? You just lost all my damn respect. You better go wash them bitches before you touch your face. Oh wait, we're moving on. Crashed ice. Shout outs to St. Paul. Now we got Arlene Medina. Hold up. What the hell is in your mouth? It must be Nemo, cause your ass look like Dory. You were mad that his movie did better, so you ate that nigga. Moving on, we got Wang. Donald Trump made it out of $9 billion in debt. I don't know what you talking about. I think he deserves his well-earned money. Traditionally, I know that Chu means you. I don't know how that came about, but it's safe to assume that when Wang says Chew, he's talking about his friend. You know, I made episode four for people like Wang who think they're a politician after watching one Facebook video. But on a side note, y'all should really check out that episode four. Moving on, we got Margaret Stover. This is so cool, a snail laying eggs. I'll be the judge of that. Bitch, are you blind? This is obviously footage of a Dippin' Dots factory. And that's my favorite flavor right there. Thank you for watching. Please take the time to like the video and subscribe to the channel. 